lovelies. So first things first, I'm in a weird part of my apartment because my roommate decided to also make a channel. It's called Tomes and Tea. Go check her out if she doesn't make it. I hope this video holds her accountable to make sure that she posts about her books. She reviews books and she's got this amazing Instagram where she takes really beautiful pictures and I think you should go follow her. But anyway, that being said, um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own temporary um, the word today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make your own temporary knee pads that's what they're called knee pads knee pads the reason I say temporary is because everybody needs to have knee pads no matter what you want to protect your knees protect your legs take it from me firsthand look at this I'm disgusting my mom told me that if I didn't take care of my legs no one was gonna love me so Hopefully she's wrong. I know some people can't afford to buy $40 Smith pads, you know, whenever they're going roller skating. So I was thinking about that. And as a college student, I'm also on a budget. Go first, Jen. Um, yeah, I wanted to make something that I was, I felt was more accessible to everybody. I know that not everybody has a lot of stuff. So to make these knee pads, all you need to have are some long socks which I recommend you have anyway whenever you're roller skating, and just some old mismatched socks that you are gonna get rid of anyway. So it's a DIY upcycle project, whoop whoop. Save the earth a little bit while you're also saving your knees. Being said, let me go ahead and show you how to make them right now. So the first thing you're gonna need is a pair of long socks. Also, I just wanna point out that these are temporary use. You don't wanna keep these knee pads forever. I do recommend investing in a good pair. Then you're gonna need a pile of mismatched socks. Go ahead and take your mismatched socks and start putting them together kind of on top of each other so that they're in a layer that is straight but like not too clumpy if that makes sense then you're going to take that pile and you're just gonna get your sock and shove them inside i put mine all the way to where my heel would typically go but I guess depending on the size of your leg, that's where you want to put it. I also try to make sure that when I put them in, the pad is kind of like flat. I don't want too many bumps anywhere because I want my weight to be evenly distributed. Also, if you feel like you don't have enough padding, you can add some more socks as you please. I do also want to point out that I know nothing whatsoever about creating pads or any kind of like engineering type things that that would take. I'm just doing what I know has worked for me in the past and I'll even add some clips of me falling so that you can see how good they work for me. Like I said, they're not supposed to be anything permanent. They're just temporary until you're getting your new pads or if you can't afford pads, they're good until you can save up. So as you can see here, I'm just placing the pad on top of my knee and then I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot in the like crevice of my knee area. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what that area of my body is called, but basically this is how I tie them to my leg, and they stick pretty well. I haven't had any issues of them sliding around, and then I just tuck in the ends of the sock, top and bottom, into itself again. Um, I will say that since these are made of this kind of material, I don't expect them to do very well when it comes to sliding across the floor. Totally see how they would get caught or even ripped on the concrete, but like I said, they're a good temporary fix, especially if you're going to fall directly down like this. But anyway, here's a few clips of me attempting to fake fall for you guys. <laughs> The saddest thing about this, guys, is actually that I fell really hard today, except for I didn't even get it on film, so... work for you as you can see I've taken some pretty big hits on these knee pads and they've actually done a pretty good job of just protecting my knee do I recommend you keep them forever absolutely not they're socks okay you can over time hopefully save up enough money to invest in some knee pads after you're sure you're gonna be skating uh, anyway hopefully that was helpful thank you for watching and love Loren